Hey, Rockers, Hawks fans, and welcome back to the RU Coaches Show, brought to, our, brought to our sponsor, Mammoth Sports Construction. Here I have Coach Park and Coach Diener. Both teams played Wilming Jewel last night in a conference game. The women's had a dominating win, while the men's took a tough loss. Can you talk about the outcome of the games and any outstanding players? Park, let's start positive. Why don't you go first? Right, sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we played almost a carbon copy game with the game up in Liberty um, several weeks ago. Um, we were up by uh, 12 at one point or 13 yesterday in the first half and let the lead slip away and cut it. I think they cut it down to uh, six or seven. We went into halftime up seven. Um, but it was very similar to the Liberty game. Um, and I, I think our message was is let's not do the same thing again. Yeah. Um, you know, we, uh, we weren't real tight with our game. We, uh, we were pressing a little bit. You know, we looked tense. Um, came out the third quarter, looked kind of like that again. Um, hit a couple of shots maybe midway through the third quarter, and all of a sudden we decompressed and started playing well. Um, and when I say playing well, it, we started making some shots. Yeah. Um, and then when that happened, the floodgates opened, and we really got with it. And the next thing you know, we bumped it up to 14, 15. And then from that point on, it, it, we were in control. Yeah. Um, so from, uh, from there, we looked uh, like a team that got confident and started making plays. And... Um, uh, other than maybe some freshman errors and one stretch in the fourth quarter, we played pretty well. Yeah, it was a great win. Thank you. Yeah, our game, uh, it was frustrating. We uh, we went up there right after finals break, finals week, and they got out to a big lead on us. And yesterday seemed uh, very similar. First couple minutes, we got down 10-0. to zero. And uh, watching the film on it, it was breakdowns on things that we should be able to avoid. Uh, stuff we went over. Um, they made 13 threes on us last night, which is uh, the 23 is tough. They were too open, in my opinion. Uh, we battled hard. We had a bunch of offensive boards, took care of the ball, but shooting was a problem for us. We were three for 19 from three at one point. Uh, as I said, they were lighting it up. And uh, just uh, a tough one to swallow. Um, I thought our guys had great heart. Lack of focus the first five minutes with some of their stuff we went over in scouts. So that's. That's one of those deals when you're watching film and you see those those baskets that get early and you're mad, not happy. Hmm. Understandable. And then both teams went on a two-game road trip week the, before William and Jewel, with the women beating Quincy and the men beating Truman State. Can you talk about the out, uh, what happened in those games and give a little recap? Well, yeah. The the nice thing for us is, I, knock on wood, I, I think we figured out what it takes for us to be successful over really over the last three games, and then it has to do, like you remember talking about our defensive um, uh, situation in terms of, of stopping people. I think that we've, we've figured some of that out. I mean, I, I think that we're, we're coming together as a unit um, on the defensive side of the ball. And, you know, it's interesting, Coach talked about um, carrying out assignments and, and scouts and, and taking care of, of the defensive side of the ball. And, and you know, we keep talking about as you get better through the course of a year, what you realize is, is the game is possession by possession by possession by possession. And I know uh, a lot of people um, don't break it down quite like that, but you know, the possessions add up to a whole. And a lot of times we think that the game is just certain, you know, times of the game, and it's not. It, it all adds up. So that focus that you have at the start carries into the end of the game. Well, we're, we've started to become a better unit defensively. And if you look at our, our wins, we've held people in the 40s, I think, four times. Um, for us, it's a key. I mean, if we, don't, if we don't stop people from scoring, our likelihood of winning goes way down um, because we're not, we're not a great um, perimeter shooting team. Yeah. So we have to stop people. And I would tell you that even in the, uh, in the Truman State game, we kept them from – they had no offensive rebounds in the first half. Oh, wow. We played really well. We didn't shoot real well. So we, we've carried over now, really, probably the last four or five games, we've played really, really good defense. So we're, we're making progress. Be able to compensate for missing on this. Well, you, you put yourself in a better position to win. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we split on a road trip. It seems like a long time ago. We, like uh, the women, we've had three games in five days. Uh, up at Quincy, lost, tough, tight game. And then we've played our last two games without Fig Rich, who's uh, leading the league in scoring and rebounding. Um, so with such tight turnaround, it's been tough getting lineups in sets and, and responsibilities 
lined up offensively, especially. Tamaris Brown, the freshman, has played a lot at the five, which is new for him. So that shifts everyone up a position with our some of our sets and stuff. But with that said, Tamaris has been just unbelievable the last two games with his numbers for a freshman. Um, but we played real well up at Truman, really kept them off the glass, and 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 uh, and, and Jake Gower had a great game as well. So we're trying to find scoring from new spots. We're pretty dependent on Big Rich. So these last two games have been new to us as far as how we're going to get those points and. Um, it's, it's a work in progress. Yeah, and talking about Rich Byrie, he has been recently named to the... Bevo. Bevo, thank you. <laughs> Bevo Francis Award uh. Top 100 Watch List. If you don't know, that is given to the best player in small college, college basketball. Uh. Can you talk about his success this season? How yeah, he's been, been uh, he's been outstanding. Obviously, leading the, the league in scoring and rebounding is incredible. He shoots the free throw well. He's a great passer, unselfish. Uh, great talker on defense. So. He has a lot to do with both ends of the floor for us. He's been a great teammate while he's been out. And, uh, you know, he's really into team awards. So I know he's, uh, he likes the individual players a week stuff, but he's really determined to win. So hopefully we can get him back soon. Yeah, it'd be great to see him back. And then both teams are going on a road trip against Southwest Baptist. Can you give us a little preview of what we can expect from those games? Yeah, Southwest Baptist, uh, very good motion offense team. They got the reigning player of the year back. Um, and a point guard that's been around forever, tough guy. Uh, they really move offensively well. Um, and uh, Quinn Nelson has been a handle. This is his fifth year. He can shoot. He's 6'5", and he, uh, everyone knows he's going to shoot, and he still does, and he makes them. Um, so they're going to be tough on the road. Uh, like looking at your, your uh, reflection in the mirror for us, Southwest Baptist women are very similar to us. I think they have the same record. Um, fighting really hard to, to move up from the uh, lower tier into the, the middle tier of the league right now. They'll be very, very hungry. Um, I think Truman State uh, beat them by six or eight um, last night. So they'll be, uh, they'll be a tough opponent uh, on the road. And you can tune into the games on the GOT Network. And this has been the RU Coaches Show, brought to you by our sponsor, Mammoth Sports Construction. See you later, Hawks.